Welcome to ScanWorld System US. Software installation. Please connect your computer to your IDS by using the USB cable. Now attach the serial cable with the power connector to the IDS. Use the power cable to get power from a strong 12 volt battery. Turn the power switch on. Now we are ready for the software installation. In order to install the software, please load the installation CD in the CD drive of your computer. After you close the CD drive, some computer will start the installation software automatically. In this case, you just click on the Next button. If the software installation does not automatically start, you might get a window like this instead. Now you can click Open Folder to start the installation process manually. If the installation process was not automatically started, or you do not get a window to open the folder, you need to start the Windows Explorer by yourself. Here is how to do it. Please start your Windows Explorer. Click on your CD drive. Find the executable setup file and double click. We are now back at the installation window. Click Next. Choose your preferred language, click next again. Here you can change your destination folder, however we recommend to keep the default destination. When we click on the next button the installation process begins. You might also see some black windows open and close automatically. This is for the driver installation. The software will be installed on your computer. The installation runs completely automatically. Finish. Please close all the remaining open windows and your software is ready to start for the very first time. Before you start your software, make sure the IDS is connected to your computer and the power is on. To start your software, you need to know which Windows version you are using. If you are using Windows XP, please just double click the software icon on your screen. If you are using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to run the software as administrator. Click with your right mouse button on the icon and this window will open. Click on Run as Administrator. Now the software is loading. In the loading process, it will also check for the IDS. This might take a few seconds. When you start the software for the first time, the software will create a license number. We need this license number to create your password. We'll explain later how to get the password. It is very important that you leave your computer running until you keyed in your password. If you shut down your computer and restart the software, it will create a different license number and your password will not work. When you receive your password, please type it in in your password line. You need to have dashes between the numbers like in the license number. Double check the number you typed in and then hit OK. After this goes away, your software is ready to use. As you can see how it get highlighted up here if you can open the menus and so on. OK, how do you get your password? As of now, we have two different locations the distribution in Florida, Eastern Time, and the factory in Europe, Eastern Time plus 6 hours. You can request your password for Scansy either from the location in Florida or from the factory in Europe, whatever time zone is best for you. Passwords for ScanMarine, ScanLand, or ScanSnow have to be requested from the factory. Please remember, in order to create your password, we need your license number, 
and we also need the level number, the password level as shown on this screen. The next step will show how to send this information. You have several ways for sending in your information for the password request. The easiest way is probably to use our password request form, as you see here. How do you get this form? Every customer is receiving an email with important information. This email will be sent after the merchandise has been shipped. Beside the tracking number and quick installation guide and product information you purchased, it will also include a software manual, a complete installation guide, plus your password request form. The factory receives this email as copy in order to know who is requesting passwords. Back to our password request form. If you are using the form that was attached to your email, your personal information, address and serial number of the IDS will already be included in this form. Please double check the information and make necessary corrections. The serial number on the IDS is located on the bottom of the unit. Now you have to type in the license number depending which software you're requesting the password for. Make sure you're typing in the correct number, then choose the level and submit the form either directly to the factory or to your distributor in Florida. You can also get the form on our webpage sws1.com. Click on the support button and you find under number 3 software installation and password request. Click on form password request and here you have the form that you can fill out and submit as shown before to the factory or to your distributor. If you prefer to send us a regular email just follow the steps. For the US location please use info at sws1.com or for the factory info at scanwordsystem.com. Just put password request in the subject line and then provide us with the following information. The password level number, your license number and for identification the IDS serial number located on the bottom of the unit your company name, your name, country and city, a phone number and your email address. We will always provide the password as quick as possible. If you need passwords for multiple software applications, please request one password at a time. When you receive your password, key it in and then request the next password. Follow this procedure until you have all software applications activated. Enjoy working with ScanWorld System software.